Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take the very important topic of this uh, entire unit that is the inverse Laplace transform. So, to begin with this inverse Laplace transform, one remark I would like to make that before you start this, you must remember at least the elementary Laplace transform with the help of which you can write down the inverse Laplace transform of some elementary functions. So let us start with this. We know that what is Laplace transform of 1? Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s. Okay. So this implies inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is equal to 1. Simple. Likewise, what is Laplace transform of t? Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square. So this implies L inverse of 1 by s square is equal to t simple then the third formula we have laplace transform of t to the power n is we have two formulas one is n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 and the second one is gamma n plus 1 upon s to the power n plus 1 right so for this we have l inverse of 1 upon s to the power n plus 1 is equal to what is it l inverse of this is t to the power n upon factorial n and what about this l inverse of 1 upon s to the power n plus 1 is equal to yes t to the power n upon gamma n plus 1 this result is for integer and this result is for the fractions okay now the next is Laplace transform of e to the power a t. Everyone knows it. 1 upon s minus a. So what is its formula? L inverse of 1 upon s minus a is e to the power a t. Right? Likewise, Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t is 1 upon s plus a. So this implies L inverse of 1 upon s plus a is e to the power minus a t. Simple. Next, you can start with Laplace transform of sine a t. What is it? a upon s square plus a square. This implies L inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square is equal to is equal to sine a t upon a. Okay, likewise you can write the next one that is Laplace transform of what is it? Cos a t. What is Laplace transform of cos a t? S upon s square plus a square. So this implies L inverse of s upon s square plus a square is equal to what is it? Cos a t. Simple. Now next you can write the next function is Laplace transform of sin h of a t is what is it? a upon s square minus a square. This implies L inverse of 1 upon s square minus a square is sin h of a t by a. Right? Next one is Laplace transform of cos h of a t is equal to what is it s upon s square minus a square so l inverse of s upon s square minus a square is cos h of a t or cos hyperbolic of a t okay so these are the elementary laplace transform that we have already seen okay now some of the formulas that will be very handy in uh, in inverse Laplace transform that I want to write now. Okay, so the one is Laplace transform of Laplace transform of s upon a square plus a square whole square. So L inverse of this s upon a square plus a square is t by 2a sin a t. We just need to remember this formula. And also we have L inverse of, what is it? 
1 upon a square plus a square whole square is equal to what is it 1 upon 2a cube into sin 80 sin 80 minus 80 cos 80 so these 10 formulas you have to remember as far as the uh, elementary inverse Laplace transform is concerned because uh, we are going to make use of it directly more in many of the problems so you once you are good at this you will enjoy the topics that we are going to take in the upcoming classes okay so these are just the uh, elementary inverse Laplace transform then we have some properties as well okay so let us see those properties now So, result from properties is the next one. Next one is results from properties. Okay, so let us see some of the results. Uh, you might know about the shifting property. Okay. So the very first result that I am going to write it is uh, you know that Laplace transform of what was that Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t into f of t what is it this property is f of s plus a right so you can write like Laplace inverse of f of s plus a is equal to e to the power minus a t into f of t. Okay, then uh, you have the next property. What are the next property? We have the property which is multiplication by t that we have already taken. One more property we just have uh, uh, seen uh, is uh, that Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u t minus a right t minus a is equal to e to the power minus a s into f of s so this property can be written as Laplace inverse of e to the power minus a s into f of s is nothing but the what is it can you write it down unit displace function f of t minus a for t greater than equal to a and is 0 for t less than a okay then we have the multiplication by t property which is Laplace transform of t into f of t is minus 1 to the power 1 into first derivative of f of s right so we'll be making use of this property when we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform by convolution theorem or by uh, in the application also we can make use of this so this dds of f of s can also be written as f dash of s okay so i will write l inverse of f dash of s this dds means f dash of s is equal to minus 1 into t f of t likewise this t you can go for t square also so what is it Laplace transform of t square into f of t is minus 1 square and now I will write it as f double dash of s. So n inverse of f double dash of s is minus 1 square into t square f of t. Likewise you can write for l inverse of t to the power n into f of t. 
so that you can write okay so that is the uh, one thing that you can do so try to write for that one next is we have done the laplace transform of integral so sorry division by t so laplace transform of f of t by t do you remember this property laplace transform of f of t by t is integration s to infinity f of s ds right so what would be the property over here n inverse of integration from s to infinity f of s ds is equal to what is it f of t by t simple some more property we have after this division by t we have taken a property which is what is it laplace transform of derivative so laplace transform of derivative means laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s f of s minus f of 0 so what should be the laplace inverse of s f of s so laplace inverse of s f of s would be f dash of t only provided this f of 0 is 0 i can write here provided f of 0 is equal to 0 right next one you can write laplace transform of f double dash of t is equal to what is it s square f of s minus s f of 0 minus f dash of 0 so you can write laplace inverse of s square f of s is equal to what is laplace inverse of s square f of s this is f double dash of t and what we are going to write here provided f of 0 is equal to 0 is same as f dash of 0 okay and at last which property we have left out the laplace transform of integral is that one okay so what is it laplace transform of integration do you remember that integration 0 to t f of u du is f of s by s is f of s by s so what we gonna write we gonna write implies l inverse of f of s by s is equal to what is it integration 0 to t f of t dt simple if it is like integration 0 to t okay so it is like this now you may have f of s by s square so instead of one integration there would be two integration if it is l inverse of f of s by s cube there would be three integration and so on so for the time being the topic that we are going to start very soon in the very next video lecture so for that you must know the elementary laplace transform that we have discussed here inverse elementary laplace transform plus results from the properties that we have seen okay so these properties are very important as far as the problem solving is concerned because there is a topic where you are going to find out the laplace inverse laplace transform of some functions with the help of these properties only meaning thereby this is very important so prepare it well so that it would be very helpful in the upcoming video lectures okay and I wish to thank you all those who are supporting me unconditionally. So thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.